Hello and welcome to Ember's Reading Room. Today's selection appears to be trying to be a golden book. This is a Happy Day book. It's very similar in shape and size to a golden book, but it has silver binding. So we'll see how it goes. This is A Child's Book of Manners by Ruth Shannon Oder, illustrated by Robert Burchett. Interesting. The distinctive trade dress of this book is proprietary to Western Publishing Company Incorporated, used with permission. So they did deliberately copy the Golden Book style, but apparently with permission. Oh, also the art style itself kind of reminds me vaguely of Schoolhouse Rocks. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I don't remember this at all. So let's see what's going on. Good manners are just being kind and thinking of others, from early in the morning till the end of the day. Do and say the kindest thing in the kindest way. And two cute illustrations on the two pages. One is of a sun with kind of cute little rays that it's supposed to have, but it kind of reminds me of stubby little carrots. And it's a cute smiling face on the sun, blushing, Cute black dots for eyes. The moon has Z's coming out. Classic with a starry dot background. And he's wearing a nightcap. And he's a quarter. Not a quarter? Uh, uh, slightly more than a crescent. Slightly more than a crescent moon. Good manners, like many other things, begin at home. Close doors quietly. Walk, do not run, in the house. Put toys away. Hang up your clothes. And we have four children doing each of the things that are said to do. A little girl with a doll in an orange dress with polka dots on her skirt is closing a door quietly. A boy with a plaid shirt with a baseball mitt. And I'm assuming a baseball because he has one hand in the other. It could also just be him putting his fist into the baseball mitt. Is walking slowly inside the house. Another little girl in a blue dress is putting away a stuffed animal and what looks to be a beach ball inside of a giant plastic toy bin, which looks like a frog. And a green planted shirt boy is hanging up his orange jacket. At the table, don't talk with your mouth full. If you want to leave the table, ask, may I be excused? If mother or father says, yes, answer, thank you. Don't be a shoveler Sam. A Piggy Pete, a Sally the Slurper, a Messy Bessie. Though in some countries, slurping is actually encouraged. Yes, this is definitely intended for a very American audience. And the first picture, the boy's kind of speaking with his mouth full. It's kind of cute, actually. He has orange hair. Eh, looks like, I'm guessing that's eggs, peas, and toast or it's mashed potatoes oh it's actually mashed potatoes peas and steak and actually it's a similar dish to everyone else except for the girl who's slurping which is soup so far the illustrations are very consistent kind of a messy style really it works well for what they're going for i just feel bad for any child who might have had this book and had one of these names i have a feeling they do this again on another page hmm Cover your mouth when you cough, when you yawn, when you sneeze. Say please if you want something. Say thank you when you are given something. Say no, thank you when you do not want something. Also, one thing they don't cover here, and probably wasn't a common knowledge thing back when this book was written, is it's actually better to cough, sneeze, and yawn into your the crook of your arm than it is your hands. Yeah, th this is a few decades before that, I believe. Yeah, publishing date 1980. Friends don't just happen. If you want a friend, you have to be one. Take turns. Share. Play fair. Just the style of these first two boys getting ready to play baseball reminds me of thing, and I can't quite put my finger on it. And darts. I was always terrible at darts. Me too, which I don't get, because I'm decent at archery. Hmm. Well, one requires a different type of hand and eye coordination. And the art is staying very consistent. It's very well done for this style of book. It's kind of sketchy, really. 
if I really analyze it, the lines are quite drawn over in a couple places. In other places, it's just quick strokes. Yeah, and if you look at the fill-in colors, you usually have some outside the lines, even when they did the patterning on the shirts. Mm -hmm. That's not to say that this is done quickly. I'm thinking it's just the way the style is. Don't be like Sulky Sue. Me first, Millie. Look at me, Louie. That's mine, Thelma. There are some very special rules to follow when you go to school. Wow, could this book be a little more heavy-handed? Well, it's supposed to be basically a rule book. And you want to be clear about your rules. Though I do see what you mean by the names. It's kind of mean, really. Mm-hmm. Though I know it's a common thing. Even I remember the phrase Debbie Downer. wonder if that one's in here. Hmm. Walk. Do not run in the halls. Never push or shove. Help take care of the building and playground. Follow the rules. Take turns. Be a good loser. Play fair. Do they mean be good at losing or... <laughs> I think be a good sport is a better phrase, but that may not have been as common when this was written. Mm -hmm. Or may not have conveyed the point as clearly. This was directed at children. Also, there's two kids playing in marbles. I never really understood how marbles worked. I just liked having them. Yeah, I always found them very pretty. I had a collection of lots of the big ones. I think they were called shooters. Mm-hmm, because you would shoot those into the circle. Though I'm also reminded of the fact that there was this big fad game in my middle school years called Pogs. Do you remember those at all? I still have some. They're Power Ranger themed. I never played. I just got them because they were Power Rangers. I have a Tommy White Ranger one. I have a Green Ranger shooter piece. Uh, Slammer. We were just talking marbles. Be kind. Do not make fun of others. Do not brag. Even if you are the best. <laughs> you should have just seen her expression right there. Be honest. Copying the answers may be the easy way, but it is not God's way. Whoa! Did not see that coming! Should we pull this? You mean stop it? <laughs> no, I think we should keep going. Just, but, wow! We did not, because of this reaction right here, we, we're going to keep this. Yeah. Okay. Was not planning on ever putting religious-themed books in Ember's reading room. Religion can be a touchy subject. So I guess this is supposed to be the golden rule book? Well, the golden rule is pretty general if you think about it. It's just don't be a jerk to others. Treat others as if you would want to be treated, which can be kind of misinterpreted if you like to be treated meanly, but... Yes, and also there are cultural differences because what's appropriate for one person isn't appropriate for another. Yeah, but basically it means don't be mean to someone else and they most likely will leave you alone and won't be mean to you. They may even thank you for you helping them. Yes. Okay, so uh, let's see if there are any other surprises. Always tell the truth, even when it is not easy. Yes, the truth can hurt. <laughs> when you go to church, try to be early. If you are late, Sit near the back. Wow, I just made a whole left turn there. Uh-huh. Do not whisper or giggle or talk. Do not rattle the pages of the songbook. When you disturb others, they cannot worship God. Well, realistically it is, because if you're disturbing someone who is a believer, it's not good. It's not very polite. No, it isn't polite at all. And if you are attending church, you should be respectful of the service being held. Because mm -hmm. your friends may be religious, and you may not be, but it's still impolite for you to interrupt the service. Definitely. It's just, this sounds like it is assumed everyone is going to the service. Mm -hmm. And you may not be one of those people, but it's still a good set of rules. Do not read your story paper. What's a story paper? It's a pamphlet they hand out at church things that will give you an idea of what the sermon's going to be about that day. Wait until you are home. If it's about what's going on that day, why do you wait till you get... Never mind. Listen to God's word. Think about God. Sing to God. Pray to God. Listen to God. 
it's up to you. I'm just surprised. I'm pretty sure I must have read this as a kid. I doubt I would have read it often, considering it's basically a rule book. But this is like one of those yeah. pamphlets that you get handed out to you. Yeah, we may as well finish it to the end and go over our thoughts about it, like we usually do. I'm just a little startled. Yeah, we didn't expect that, because it started out as a normal children's book about being kind to others. And then it kind of moved here. Jesus taught us to be kind, to love others, to treat others like we would like to be treated. Jesus is God's son. Jesus loves others more than himself. If we try to be like Jesus in all we say and do, then having good manners will be as easy as ABC123. It's mainly the fact that it starts out so mild and very general, and then it gets very specific at the end is what kind of throws you. Yeah, I, I was not expecting to touch on religion. I really had no intention of ever bringing religion up in Amber's reading room. So what are your thoughts on it? Well, reading through it, it reminds me very much of the pamphlets and storybooks that you would get from churches or advocates of different Judeo-Christian religions. Things like the book with no pictures and a few other items. But this is how you can tell I do these readings blind. If I had opened this book, I would have opened to the back cover and I would have seen this list of Happy Days books, about half of which have the word God in them. Ah, I get the name of the book company. Yeah, Oh Happy Day When Jesus Walked. I know that because of Sister Act 2, thank you. Good movie. Mm -hmm. So looking at it in the context of what it's intended for, which is to be a basic run over of good manners from a Judeo-Christian standpoint, it does that very well. Yes, and it definitely, especially with the wording near the end, it definitely is a focus on the golden rule. Yeah, because it does specifically say to treat others as we would like to be treated. Which is basically the golden rule. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of a sharp left turn because we went from very specific items. Don't run. Put things away. Hang up your clothes. Be nice to others. Have good manners at the table. Share. Cover your mouth. Take turns. Play fair. And then we just jump. And I think it's almost literally halfway through the book. Mm, I'd say a little bit past halfway. Yeah, so a little over halfway. It's almost like the last third of the book. I do have to wonder how I got my hands on this. Because I know it's mine, because my mother wrote my name in it. Yeah. And we were not, well, it should be obvious by this point that I did not grow up in a particularly religiously structured household. Not saying anything right or wrong regarding that and either way I have no intention of getting into a theological discussion with anybody but the book serves its purpose well the illustrations are consistent I was just surprised and this has been A Child's Book of Manners by Ruth Shannon Odor illustrated by Robert Burchett thank you for listening if you enjoyed this please like subscribe share, check out other videos. We have a whole list of actual golden books and several other playlists as well. Feel like a dose of pop culture? Check out the content on the main channel, updated Saturdays. Check out the links below for shopping at Amazon and Ebates. Have some fun and give a little kickback to the channel while you're at it. Amazon and Ebates are not sponsors of or in any way affiliated with Ember's Reading Room or any content of the Lux Analysis channel.